Hi viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Are you ready for some plot? But first, I went back and got Lucas Tabenhelm, which is pretty good. You get an extra 10 to your magic defense, which gives her the best. Aww. Before we go and find out all about this Northwood burning and stuff, I do believe... I want to do it. I think there's new stuff. <coughs> uh, let's see, a pedal and a fang. Dream gun. Yeah, I don't have those. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to go through that whole explanation of the trading system every time. Dream bow. Pedal. And feather. Horn, Aeon Blade. Yep, that is for Frog, I believe. <coughs> Could be wrong. Fang. And Feather. We already have Ruby Vests. Nope. Let's see if he's got the new helmet yet. Horn. And Feather. No. That's for Chrono. I would give it to him. The damage up is really nice, but I would rather him have the speed up. Oh, wait. I want to trade my shiny stone. Don't use a lot of heals, but, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Healing items are good to have. Whoa, what happened here? Reptites take Kino. Reptites hurt all who fight. What do now? Reptites follow Isla. Isla bad luck. Ula, ula, ula. Those who fight killed. I wanted to talk to this guy. Isla, this your fault. Look at mess. Reptites follow you. So village now ruined. I will feel bad. Reptite strong, they live a long time before us. They smart, so we hide. But Isla say fight together. Isla still fight? <coughs> Isla fight while alive. <coughs> Excuse me. Win and live, lose and die, rule of life. No change rule. Old man breathe, but dead on inside. Isla, you strong, can make big talk. We have no power. No, have power. We fight, gain more power. Isla help you, but need dactyl. Give dactyl. Need dactyl? Go to Tyranno Lair, that reptite's place. Dangerous. Isla want to die? Want to live, so go there. Isla be okay. Give Dactyl. Okay, go to Dactyl's nest and Keeper will help. Careful, Isla. <coughs> Thank you, old man. You take care, Isla. You disobey, so reptite's mad. Mm. We could not really do much here previously, but we are here now and can do much things now. We need to, <coughs> excuse me, swap out. We're gonna bring in Meryl for Luca. I need her to learn ice too, rather quickly. <coughs> excuse me. Doom, 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 ba -doom, ba -doom, boom. It's a cave ape, not in a cave.
Yeah, when he threw the little rock thing at me, that was his counterattack. Hit these guys once, they turn into little volcano things. Our dinosaurs. We're gonna use lightning too. Kills them quickly. the halfway point of the game. Chrono Trigger is not a really very long game. Um, it makes up for this with its replay value and a ton of side quests at the end of the game. <coughs> you don't notice it. I mean, really. Hey, look at our well, you can't see it now. Next battle we get into, just take a look at our health. It's like the last time we looked at health, it wasn't even anywhere near that. Alright, we haven't seen Spire yet, I don't think, so let's show off Spire. The lovely poor audio emulation. We'll show off haste. <coughs> now Frog is super fast. Twice as fast as he was previously. Ice Water. Ice Water is a decent target all attack. And it does make a noise very similar to that in the original game. say original game, meaning the non-emulated version. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Grab that. Mesomail. <clears throat> Frog's defense is still lower than Kronos, so it's gonna go to Frog. be nice, but I prefer her to have speed. I'm going to give that to you. <coughs> it was all good till the monkey showed up. Can't tell you how many times I say that on a normal basis. It's like at least once a week I'm saying, it was all good till the monkey showed up. <coughs> I think you know what I'm trying to say. should probably pop back to the end of time. Let's see if we can do another little battle there. Might be about time for another change. Oh well. I ain't gonna worry too much about it. going Super Saiyan for a minute there. See his teeth and everything. Frogs level up. Yay! 
Let's check our techs. 500, 200, 200. Okay, now that's not a very good emulated sound. Chrono! <clears throat> Don't even think about leaving us behind! No, Tyrannal, they're dangerous. Maybe I'll perish. We can't let you go alone. Isla, you saved us. Now it's payback time. Right, Chrono? Mm-hmm. Isla had strong friends. Isla, let's go. Next stop, the Tyranno Lair. Where's that keeper that was supposed to be helping, huh? Huh? Yeah, so Isla's in our party now. We're gonna add frog. Recipe for success, viewers. Just add frog. Why, what on earth could that be? Now we can fly. And there's really nowhere to go. Um, there is a map. There we go. On the uh, eastern edge of the map, where we are, represented by that little flashy blue dot. This is the world's worst map, by the way. There's just this little cave, which is empty. There's nothing at all over here. That's where we're going. The Tyranno Lair. The Lair of the Tyranno. <clears throat> over here we have the Reptites Lair, which is different. And Mystic Mountains. That's it. That's all that's here. We land. We will drink the sweet water. We won't go back. We'll just continue on. This might end up being a little longer video. Like, kind of like the previous one. Unnatural selection? Question mark. What up, fellers? Oh, he's purple now. He leveled up. Probably need to check Isla's equipment. Let's do that real quick. Ten tech points. Slurp Kiss. Bubble hit. Slurp Kiss, one of the best healing abilities in the game. Let me give you that. And that. That power glove her attacks over a hundred, but that's okay. She's still by far the strongest person we got. Well, Robo's a close second, I should suppose. But she's crazy fast now. Not quite crazy fast, but fast. We'll swap in Meryl. <clears throat> Fill up all those tech spots we got. <clears throat> oh, you didn't die. Now you did. Bam! Tree. Yeah. Okay, nothing new for those two. Bring in Luca. Everybody out. Critical there. Counter? No. Shucks. Anything new for you two? Nope. So now we will bring in Robo. This is your power party. If you want to just cause physical damage, I believe I mentioned this before. 
Thanks for bringing her being the main course. Hey. It's the apes. Quick. DDR in place. <coughs> Bam. Love it. Oh, you didn't die. Hate it. Magma hand. See, there was fire. Yeah. Get that, son. <clears throat> Twelve tech points. And nothing. No new abilities. Alright, well. Frog. Isla! Kino, get back! Isla, save you! Yeah, my not voice acting anymore. Ah, click, yeah, yeah, My not voice acting anymore lasts a long time, didn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Isla. All Kino's fault. No matter, Kino escaped with Laruba villagers. What Isla do? Put end to this. Kino, go too! Yes, please do! Kino no come. If I the dead, Kino new chief of Ayuka. I love. Bam. I the straw, no lose. Kino understand and show you something. No. Okay. I've passed him several times. <coughs> you strong, me weak. I look good, chief. And I gotta save Kino or the mouth won't open. Now, we have an option here, viewers. We can step on these switches and send these guys down a floor. Or we can fight them. Fight them now, we have to fight them later. Doesn't matter. Pterosaur! Stronger version of the Megasaur, or whatever it was called. Bubble hit. Boom. Jerk. We are outside. Uh, I believe this is actually the way we want to go. So, this is an interesting room. There are hidden switches all over the floor. And, oh, don't do that. So, yeah, there's these hidden switches all over the floor. Some are teleporters, some are battles. There are a few decent pieces of equipment in this room that we would very much like to be having. Har har. He's shocked, can you tell? I don't recall many dinosaurs looking like that in the history book. I'd love to get that chest. Oh, nope, can't get it. I don't know. I'll go this way. Nope, can't go that way either. Oh, I'll grab this one then. A tonic. Boy, oh boy. There's one down here. Nope, can't go that way. But this way. Nope, can't go that way. Battle. Get rid of the volcano. <coughs> Some good tech points. Now I think that's all of the battles. A Sarah Topper. Who has the worst defense? Chrono. Let's 
somewhere. And you know what? I'm not going to be able to remember where is the way to some of these little treasure corner thingies. Step on them in a certain order. Don't rightly remember. It's been a while. Okay, so we get to that one. Get revive. Nope. Seem to recall you have to go through two to get to this top one. But I don't remember for sure. Mezzo mail, another one. Well, I kind of want to keep these ruby vests, so I'm actually going to put those back on. <coughs> we'll equip the mezzo mail later. Now I want to leave this room. Come outside and fight these guys. Take the other door. And what the heck, let's show off Slurp Kiss. Incredibly cheap. Restores health and status to everybody. Costs one point for Isla and one point for Frog. And looks kinda weird. Look at that. That's better than heal. The only problem with it is it takes two people to use. too far away to counterattack. That's a problem those monkeys have of yours. You damn dirty apes! I don't remember which one I want to take first, but I know one of these leads me to like a switch that opens something up somewhere else. I could be living in a fantasy world of my own design. That's happened several times. Today. Like when I was president of Belgium. Can't quite remember why. Well, even if this turns out to be the way I should have gone second, um, these battles don't respawn, I believe, so we can just run on through. Thud. I remember all those critical hits Chrono was getting a few videos back. I missed those. were the days. Ah, I know what happens if I hit those. Ah, I didn't think these respond. Let's employ a tiny bit of turbo here. Oh, everyone gets a critical but chrono. Probably notice I tend to play all RPGs like all RPGs I play. I don't really use a lot of spells initially. Um, you know, things like that. I 
that switch drops us into a cell. Like the one all the villagers were in, it drops us in there. Check the text. 300, 185. Charm is interesting. We'll use it maybe once, maybe twice. you and that should end you oh, no, not quite. <clears throat> I will end you says the frog <clears throat> okay <clears throat> uh, the right switch opens the door without summoning the monsters. How did that little guy carry that big guy? Come on, game. I believed everything you did and said up until that point. I thought it was all totally plausible until right there. You had me with the time travel. You had me with the despotic future where everybody lived in dome cities. You had me with... Humans and dinosaurs living side by side. You had me with the big blue haired dude summoning the giant what's it who lives in the middle of the world, but when you had a little golden dinosaur carrying a large obese dinosaur, uh, you lost me. There's nothing in physics sacred anymore. Oh, you missed. Now you're. What? How does that even work? Isla evaded that. Gradius style. Didn't evade that one, though. Bam! Before he can attack, blow him up. Eighteen tech points. Come on, frog. Water 2, buddy. Water 2 is awesome. Azala's in the back. I'm gonna flex. Yeah. Shelter. Give me shelter, viewers. Drop a save. I don't know why I chose to save in slot two. I just did. I'm running so fast. Hold it. This is a special place. The great Nisbel was defeated here. Don't quite know what that means. Did we do it previously? Did we do it in another life? I don't understand. Start off with a little lightning. Cat attack. And we will leap slash. It's the same fight. He's going to do the same things. He's got more health. He'll, uh, his defense now goes up when he gets attacked. So you're going to need to cast lightning a little more often. And he will still do the discharge thing once in a while, but... You'll have more health now, you'll have more speed now, your magic's gonna be better, your magic defense is gonna be better. Just just do this. Obviously replacing Frog's Leap Slash with an attack based upon whoever you decide to bring with you. Handed that technique down to his ancestors descendants, Yakra. You know what this game needs, viewers? Bunny girl. Yeah. With a big old carrot. Yeah. <laughs> he posed at her. <coughs> so 
here, so I can fix that. Ooh, that might kill her. Dang it. Okay, quick, revive! Frog just threw up hearts at us, and we all felt better because of it. Just like in real life! See, that's another thing. I can I can follow along with that. And I bring Frog over Meryl. He's got the multi-target heal spell, he's got better attack, he's got better defense, he's not a great magic user, but, you know. Zap him again. Wish I had your other. Poison me again, man. He hardly ever does that, too. It's a very rare attack that I see him use. Oh, he used it twice, Mr. Special Man. again That does, I think, a tad bit more than heal, that's why I'm using that instead of heal. But next time I will use heal. Next time Frog gets a turn. Bam! Yeah! Now what, son? Now what? And you're dead! You're dead! You're dead to me! And the universe! This one, anyway. <coughs> now, you want your damage dealers for this next bit. I'd love to bring Robo in for this, but gonna have frogs healing. And more fighting. Blah blah blah. Let's employ a little turbo A button action. Oh, by the way, Chrono and Isla, over 500 hit points now. <clears throat> Frog, what's taking so long, buddy? You should have water too by now. 24 points to go. 100, 100, 24. here. A little more turbo A button action starting right now. What a battle! Oh, man. <clears throat> Whopping three tech points for that. Yep, just examine the face. Um, one of these summons monsters, one of these puts pits in the floor. Neither one of those things will do you any good. Wah! You just want to go in the door, man. <coughs> Bam! You're dead now. Four tech points for that. 
Oh no! Where are they coming from? Raining dinosaurs. I find it weird when they're all in sync like that. It, it kind of makes me uncomfortable. I know nature has a lot of symmetry in it, but that's a little much. <coughs> frog leveled up, but still no water too. You have 500 hit points now? No. Oh, I'm sorry, Frog. Maybe next time. Hey, buddy! So you're here at last. This is it then. The showdown. Today there shall be a conclusion. Will it be the reptites or you silly apes who end up ruling the world? I think we know how that ended, viewers. Strong survive. I the strong. I the fight. <coughs> Hear that lovely voice? You'll soon become the best of friends. Jumps better than Mario, that little green man. Sarah Topper and a mid ether. Whale. <coughs> Give you the Sarah Topper. And we'll refill what we use at Chrono's Magic. And you're fine. And drop a save as soon as we get out there. Because this battle can be a little bit tricksy. Hello! Who are you? Red Star. Fall. Stain the earth. You. Though it may be our fate to perish, we will not simply hand this world over to you. <laughs> With this black tyranno, I can finally exterminate those filthy apes. I'm a puppy! Bam. And more crazy epic battle music. Now, first thing we want to do, get rid of Azala. He has psychokinesis. Hey, he's using telekinesis. That's right, I'm using telekinesis. I'll burn y'all up and make you crispy. And now you see why we kept the ruby vest. <coughs> you missed. Oh. Da 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 da. Rapa da 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 He's got crazy mind powers of the mind. We need to get rid of Azala before we can do much to the Black Tyranno. Well, Azala doesn't really enjoy dying. He's not much trouble. <coughs> this is where you get get some trouble. Yeah. What do you think she must feel about that? Like the little belly flop animation that they gave her for that, though. That's kind of. Let's do a. So much more healing that did just from leveling up one time. <clears throat> Lightning one would probably work just as well, I feel. Waiting for an attack called Azala Break. <clears throat> oh, 
stop that. You don't even have that much health to lose. and a storing power. That means hit him. Hit him very hard with many much hard things. Wish I had Confuse. Confuse is excellent in this battle. <clears throat> Ow. Right on that horn. I'd love to do bubble hit again. But I probably need to heal, so let's do falcon hit. Love that. So much damage, but it's quick. It's not like a really long, drawn out, <clears throat> complicated technique. Now, Zala Break uh, did do hit point down. You, you watch, our health will just slowly drain. That counts as an attack, by the way, which is awesome. And you just want to pummel him, make him dead. If I had another one of these um, rage bands, I'd give one to Isla. Let's try bubble hit. Spin cut. Stop that, smack. She looks so frustrated when she blinks at him. Bam. That's what he does when he gets his countdown to zero. It's everybody with a couple of flamey things, and it hurts. Even with ruby vests, that hurts. But it hurts less with ruby vests. Not much, but a little bit. Maybe about a slurp kiss. Slash. <coughs> and he's got his defense back on. He will turn it off occasionally. Just want to wait for the message. Might have to shock him. Remember. There we go. Falcon hit, leap slash. I think the average for a pair of that, Falcon hit and leap slash, comes out to about a thousand damage. A little more, a little less, obviously, sometimes. It's not a consistent. We're not going to do 712 damage each time. Come on, Chrono Buddy, I need you to counterattack here. Thank you. This is not really for the, you know, amazing music, you know, the big epic battle kind of music. The word epic, I apologize. Um, it's really not a difficult battle, it's just a lot of waiting and wearing down. Not the, the Magus battle I find a lot more intense than this one. Because <clears throat> there's you know, more strategy involved with that one. You gotta watch his elemental changes, and he's gonna do super damage to you every so often. All this guy's gonna do is count down from five and then breathe fire. There we go. <clears throat> Finally. No, it can't. 
can't be. Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Listen, primates, and let it be known. We reptites fought bravely to the bitter end. Isla understand. Soon stones of fire will rain down. Flames shall scorch the land. The burned out plains will slowly freeze, ushering in a long, cruel ice age. <laughs> what a treat. You'll wish you went along with us. <laughs> <clears throat> Lavos. Isla! Kino! Hurry, Lavos, come soon! I'll ride the dactyl! Kino, hurry! Isla, what you do? Come, Azala, come! Absolutely not. The powers that be have spoken. Isla, hurry! Azala, me not forget. The future. Future? What about future? We have no future. Ah, <laughs> still don't like that noise. Through no fault of Magus does, La does Lavos live. Lavos hath fallen from the sky in ancient times. Lavos huge. Chrono fight it. Boink, boink. Chrono, we go where Lavos fall. Left unscathed, it will burrow deep within the earth. Best to defeat it now. Ah, but we'll do more with that next time, viewers. <laughs> <laughs>